Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be sharing how to create this really trendy Valentine's Day manicure using a new gel polish release from Madame Glam, so let's get right into the video. So here I'm starting off with my cleaned and prepped natural nails. I did finally take my nail extensions off so you can see that my natural nails have grown pretty long underneath and I'm going to apply a layer of my pH prep liquid after pushing back the cuticles and buffing the surface of my nail and this is just going to prep for the dip application. And since I'm going for that negative space look, I'm using DP90 Crystal Clear as well as my Base Bond Liquid from Sparkling Co. to do a really nice even base application. So this is um, going to be, I think, two or three layers of clear dip powder. Um, you can paint right on the natural nail surface with the gel polish, however, since my natural nails are quite long, I do want some of that strength and durability from the dip powder to make sure that they don't break or tear or anything like that. So I find going in with either dip powder or a clear builder gel really helps um, add some thickness to my nails and make them a little bit stronger. So I chose to use dip powder for this instance and I'm just doing my standard dip application routine, applying a thin layer of base, dipping into the powder, and then brushing off any excess. And I'm going to repeat that process here. You can definitely do as many layers as you like. Like I said, I think I did two or three to just build up that thickness on my natural nails a little bit, um, especially since I did have nail extensions on for upwards of a month and a half. Um, I really like that feeling of stronger and durable nails, and I don't want my natural nails to feel super flimsy, so totally do it to your personal preference and whatever works best for you. So I'm just going to continue finishing up my second coat right here, and then I will be right back. Once the dip powder application is complete, I'm going to go in with my Sparkle & Co. Solidify Liquid. This is going to harden up all of those powder layers and make them ready to be filed and shaped. So I apply two generous coats of this to all of my nails, and then I let that dry for a couple of minutes until the nails are completely hard before I go in with a nail file. And I did my filing off camera. There was very minimal filing and buffing to do. I just refined the shape a little bit and went over the surface with a buffing block to make sure everything was nice and even. And now I'm taking a cleansing wipe just to remove any of that excess dust from the filing. You can totally use rubbing alcohol here. Um, I think these little individual pads are super easy to use and I will link them below in case you want to purchase them. And then this is what I am really excited to show you guys. So Madame Glam launched some new gel polishes on January 20th, so just a couple of days ago. And I'm going to be showing the shades that they sent over. So they were, um, I think, themed after Valentine's Day because all of the colors, of course, are the pinks, reds, glitters, everything perfect for February. And I wanted to get out a Valentine's Day manicure a little bit quicker than 
um, normal just because with being in college it's a little bit hard to get my video uploading and editing schedules to um, fit in. So I figured I would do a look with these colors once I saw them come in the mail because they are just so stunning. So I will be sure to link everything in my description in case you are interested in checking out these gorgeous shades. And of course, you guys know Madame Glam um, has been featured in quite a few of my videos. I really like this brand and their gel polishes are absolutely amazing. So don't hesitate to check out these gorgeous colors for Valentine's Day. So before I get to applying the color on my nails, I'm going to go in with my Madame Glam Soak Off Gel Base Coat. This is just going to allow the gel polish color to really adhere to the dip powder layers underneath. So I'm doing a nice thin coat of the gel base coat, and once happy with the application, I will cure in my LED lamp for 30 seconds. Here are the two shades I'm using, Love's Veil as well as Loyal, and I will be using this super small detail brush that I actually cut from just a thinner paintbrush um, to get that super precise bristle brush that I needed. And then I'm just going to take out those gel colors on a post-it note so I have an easy palette to work from. Now this clip uh, is sped up obviously because it does take me a little bit of time to paint freehand designs like this one, especially stars. For whatever reason, I think stars are some of the most difficult to paint. Um, I think it might just be a hard shape to get nice and even and to look symmetrical, so it did take me a little bit of time, but I like to outline with the base star shape, and then I just take my brush and really work in those angles and corners to make sure everything looks just how I like. And a thin brush like this one really helps. I will try to find a brush on Amazon or another nail store that I think is similar to this one, obviously, since I cut this one. Um, but it did work really great for this design. And I did alternating colors on each of my nails, and I sporadically placed the stars. I did want to have a full star on each nail, so the placement didn't really move around that much. It was just, you know, a little bit higher towards the cuticle or lower towards the tip of my nail, um, whatever I was feeling. And like I said, I alternated the colors. So on these two nails, I did the darker pink shade. And then on my pinky, middle, and thumb, I did that super, super light, almost white pink color. So I'm just going to continue painting on the stars. You can see there's my head getting into the frame because I really like to look close at what I am doing. And I also want to note, I didn't do the classic heart because I feel like sometimes hearts are a little bit overdone for Valentine's Day. And of course, I do think hearts can be super stunning for nail looks. I am a really big fan. But I think, um, just for me personally, I wanted to do something a little bit more unique. And I think the negative space with the star combination in different shades of pink really just achieved that sort of unique and trendy look that is going around, especially for Valentine's Day. So I'm just finishing up my pinky here. For whatever reason, my camera didn't record my middle nail, so I just did that one off camera, but I'm just really working in the design and perfecting it as much as I want. And then once I'm happy, I will go ahead and cure the design in my LED lamp for 30 seconds to make sure that gel color is nice and dry before top coat. And here are all of the nails after curing, super beautiful. And of course, I'm going to seal in my nails using my Madame Glam Soak Off Gel Top Coat. This is going to, of course, seal in and protect my design underneath and give the nails a really nice, beautiful shine. So I'm doing a nice thin layer, making sure to cover the entire surface, wrapping the free edge of my nails, and then I will cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp once again. Thank you. 
After curing, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my Blossom Madam Glam Cuticle Oil. And here is a look at the finished manicure I was able to create using the new Madam Glam Valentine's Day gel polishes. I really like this design. I think it fits in with the trends going on in the nail community pretty well. And it's also a really sweet and cute design for Valentine's Day, which is coming up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.